Hi everyone, my name is James Ivey from Antelope Audio. Antelope interfaces like this discrete 8 Synergy Core offer superior sound quality, routing flexibility and connectivity. In this video, we're going to take you through the different connection formats found on Antelope interfaces. We'll talk about what they're most commonly used for, the cables and connectors required to make the most of them, and how you can use them in your recording, mixing and mastering environments. Yes, it's time to get connected. So let's start by talking about how the interfaces are connected to your computer. Most of our range of audio interfaces can connect to your computer, be that PC or Mac, via at least two formats. Antelope interfaces support both Thunderbolt 2 and 3 formats and connection types. Here we have a Thunderbolt 3 cable on the left and a Thunderbolt 1 or 2 cable on the right. But what if my computer has a different connection type to my interface? No problem there. All our interfaces support Apple's Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 converter. This adapter is fully bidirectional, allowing us to connect a discrete 8 to a new MacBook Pro or an Orion Studio Synergy Core to an older Windows PC. If your computer does not have Thunderbolt, there's a fair chance it does have USB. There are two different USB formats supported by Antelope interfaces, USB 2 and USB 3. The cables at the device end do look slightly different, but the B-style connector that goes into your machine look exactly the same. USB 3 can be easily identified as both the plug and the socket have a blue inner lining. So that's got the computer hooked up, let's get some audio in and out of our interface. The most common recording requirement for any audio interface is the ability to plug in a microphone. This is done using an XLR cable into an XLR or XLR combi jack socket. The main benefit of the XLR combi jack socket is that it saves on space on the back panel of an interface. The combi jack connection accepts both XLR and TRS or tip ring sleeve quarter inch jacks which are balanced connections and TS or tip sleeve jacks which are unbalanced. Quarter inch jacks are more commonly used for connecting instruments like keyboards or guitars, while XLRs are usually reserved for DI boxes and microphones. When Tascam introduced their DA88 multi-track tape machines, they also introduced the Tascam format 25 pin D-sub or DB25 connector for multi-channel audio. The DB25 can carry eight channels of balanced analog audio into or out of an interface. On the discrete 8 Synergy Core, there is a single DB25 for eight channels of line output. While on the new Galaxy interface, there are 16 DB25s offering 64 channels of simultaneous analog I.O. The mastering grade monitor outputs on all Antelope interfaces are connected via balanced TRS quarter inch jacks. These balanced connections can then go directly to your power amp or active monitors and can be controlled from the software control panel or the main control encoder on the front panel of the unit. The hardware insert is used, as the name suggests, to insert an external processor into the signal path. Most inserts, even those on high-end recording consoles, use a single TRS quarter inch jack, but this is not a balanced connection. The cables used in an insert actually form a Y split, where the tip of the TRS links to the tip of the TS jack along with the sleeve forming the send signal. The ring of the TRS links to the tip of the second jack along with the ground or sleeve forming the return. Again, this is a really neat way to save on back panel real estate, allowing even more functionality into a more compact format. The BNC, or Bayonet Neil Consulman, to give it its official title, was originally developed for military use but was embraced by the broadcast industries due to its ease of use and stability with coaxial cables. Today, the pro audio world uses BNC connections for word clock, loop clock, and other non-audio sync signals to make sure all our digital gear stays locked together. The ADAT or ADAT light pipe is a digital optical format that can transfer up to eight channels of digital audio at up to 48 kilohertz. ADAT is often used as a convenient way to expand your system with an extra 8 channels of microphone preamp using a single optical connection. SPDIF or the Sony Philips digital interface is a commonly used stereo digital format. The connection is a standard RCA or phono plug using a 75 ohm coaxial cable. Please do not use a normal analog audio hi-fi cable for SPDIF, you will not be doing your audio any favours at all. The professional digital stereo format is called AES-EBU, which stands for Audio Engineering Society and European Broadcast Union. The connections are over an XLR-style connector, 
and are commonly used in mastering grade A to D or D to A converters. MADI, or the Multi-Channel Audio Digital Interface, is a format that allows massive track counts to be transmitted over pairs of optical cables, with little or no signal degradation. While MADI can be either an optical or coaxial format, at Antelope we have chosen to only provide optical MADI on our top-of-the-range audio interfaces. The third computer connection type is the Avid Mini DigiLink port, which is included on our HD range of Antelope audio interfaces as well as the new Galaxy. The Mini DigiLink ports, sometimes called HDX ports, are used in conjunction with Avid's HDX, HD Native and HD Thunderbolt Native cards and interfaces. The final connection type we're going to look at is networking. Now we already know that the Antelope Audio range of interfaces can already function across a network as demonstrated in the Antelope Audio launcher. However, Network Audio, or AOIP to be more specific, is now a major format for both post-production and music studios alike. The new Galaxy interface features Dante connectivity, using a pair of standard RJ45 ports for use with Cat5e or Cat6 cables. So I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. My name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon.